What's up everyone and welcome back for another video here on my channel. As always, for my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back and joining me on another video. And if this happens to be your first time stumbling across my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Monet, I am 26 years old and here on this channel, I showcase myself utilizing the cash envelope method. Just to give a little backstory about myself, I am 26 years old, I am a single cash budgeter and I just share how I am trying to get a better hold financially of my money and I have been doing this system for the past three years it has helped me get out of debt it's helping me save and I just find that I use my money the best to my ability by using this system so I documented my entire journey here on YouTube and again I just showcase it to give examples and motivate others that also may be interested in the system so yeah, if any of that interests you and you enjoy that type of content, then definitely don't hesitate to go down below and hit that subscribe button. Join the family. We would love to have you. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever I upload my next video. So within today's video, we are actually setting up for the new month. It is today, I believe, August 7th. And I finally had some time to sit down and budget for the next month so i am going to show you guys how i do that so if you're interested in seeing how i plan on budgeting for the month of august then just keep on watching All right, so to get things started, in front of me, I have my budget sheet, and these are principal budget sheets that I create for myself each month that helps me stay on track in terms of my budget. And I do have all of the sheets that you'll see me use within my channel available for a digital download. Just check the link in the description. I have them available within my Etsy and my website. You can print them out at your house, print them as many times as you want. And if they're helpful, they are available. So each month I have a new little quote. And for the month of August, I have consistent action creates consistent results. So that is very prevalent to what I am trying to do this month. My word is consistency. I am trying to get back on track and just be consistent when it comes to my budgeting, when it comes to my personal life, my job. I am just trying to focus on consistency because the past month has just been unexpected after unexpected, but such is life. So yeah, that's just the quote for the month. And if we open up the sheet, we can first look at my calendar view. So here is a calendar view that I also have available. I just like to look at it and have a quick glance of everything that's going on for the month. So these little dollar bills notate when I get paid from my full-time job. And then these dollar bills just notate um, when I pay myself from any side income that I earn. And then here I also have the dates for the expenses that I have to pay. So of course on the first I have rent, I have internet, and I have electricity. Um, as I voiced before, I like to keep my bills, if I can, per month very light. And I like to save up for things to make a yearly payment or a six month payment. So you'll kind of see that within my budget. But yeah, I like to keep it simple as I possibly can. But I also write down here any notes for any upcoming birthdays, events, holidays. But for the month of August, I don't believe I have anything. So it should be a real light month. All right, so now we can get down to the actual breakdown of my budget. This again is just a monthly view just to see for the month how much money I have coming in and if that money is enough to cover my bills, cover my debt, cover my savings goals. That's really what I like to use this sheet for. So looking for the month of August, we can first fill out for income and I am going to write my full time. So this is of course income that I am budgeting to earn from my full-time job. We're just going to fill out all of the budget columns and then at the end of the month is when I come in and fill out actual to see how we compared versus how we planned and how we actualized. So budgeting for the month, I'm going to predict that I'm bringing in $4,112 from my full-time. So I will write that as my total. And then in regards to debt, we are going to leave this blank because we are debt free. So we don't have to worry about that. And I'll get started with listing my sinking funds. So let me write that quickly. All right, 
So here are all of my sinking funds that I am trying to budget for this month. And for annual payments, I am going to try and save $45 for the month. Car maintenance, I would like it to receive $100 for the month. Car insurance, getting $80 for the month. Christmas with $40. Gifts at $25. Household with $60. Medical with $20 and travel with 160. So again, just looking at my sinking funds, if we look at what the highest one is, we see that it's travel. I am trying to prioritize for my travel because at the end of this month, I am going to Florida. So I am just trying to build up the funds for that so I can use that while I'm on my little mini vacation. So let's go ahead and total up everything for sinking funds and see what that gives us. All right, so that's a total of $530 budgeted for my sinking funds. Next, what I like to do is go over here and list all of my monthly bills. So I'll go ahead and write those down as well. So looking at my monthly bills, the first one that I have is rent and rent I'm going to budget at $1,700. It's normally a little bit under maybe $1,680, $1,675, but I like to round it up to $1,700 just in case. Electricity, I did receive the bill for this for the month, so that's going to be $86. Internet is also one that I already know how much that's going to be. That will be 56. And then I have my cash categories that I keep within my wallet. So gas for the month, I am budgeting 100. Spending with 200. Groceries at 300. Toiletries will receive 100. Clothing with 40. Eating out at 70. So here you see I have sinking funds written. That's just the total for the sinking fund that we already have. I just like to bring it over here so that then I can include it in my total at the end. So we'll just write 530. So then I have my savings goals that I'm trying to prioritize. So for the month for savings, I would like to give it 350. For my emergency fund, I would like to budget 245. And my home fund, I want to give that $325 for the month. So these three are my really main goals that I'm shooting for because again, that's just where I want to put the bulk of my money whenever I can, throwing it at savings. And then here we see I have rollover. This is what you guys see me write when I have my cushion or my buffer with each paycheck. I like to put aside $5 for each paycheck and I'm receiving two paychecks for the month of August. So that will be a total of $10 that I'm budgeting for rollover. And for the month of August, that's all I am predicting. Of course, as the month comes along, something else might pop up. But as of right now, this is what we're working with for the budget. So let's go ahead and total all of this up and see what we get for our monthly total. All right, so that gives us a monthly total of $4,112. So as we can see, that matches the exact number that I am bringing in for my full-time income. I like to do a zero-based budget and give every dollar a place. So in terms of if I'm over or under budget, I just write zero to let me know we zeroed it out. But when it comes to the monthly breakdown, that's all I do. We see that I have enough funds coming in to support. So now we'll just see how the month plays out. All right, you guys, but overall, that's all I have for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and was able to follow along. This is still something new that I'm trying to implement into my channel. I did it once a couple of months ago, but I've been very absent from it. So hopefully I can be consistent and stick to it for the entire month. But if you enjoyed the video, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you do for your budget for the month. Let me know how it's going with you guys. Always love to hear and check in. Be sure to share the video with anybody that you think would enjoy it and thumbs up the video because that really does help and support the channel. But as of today, guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all next time in my next video. 
Bye guys.